Hello, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. This is our point in the day where we get to pause together as a community of faith and share in the Upper Room Daily Devotional together, share in some prayer, scripture, and reflection. So if you're joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, we always like to know which ones of our friends popped by, and welcome. Thank you for taking this point midday to share in community with us. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. Almost March. So hard to believe next week is March. Time is flying by. Hope everybody is having a good Thursday. Feels like spring outside. Like almost don't even need a jacket. Feels wonderful. <laughs> Good morning, Linda. It's good to see you. Good morning, Stacy. Good to see you. Good morning, Barbara and Chris Mueller. Today we will be in the book of John. Yep, John. Today we'll be in the book of John. So if anybody would like to follow along, you're more than welcome to do so. John 12. Um, if not, feel free just to listen along. Give all of our friends another minute or two to see if anybody else hops on. And then we will begin. Okay, let us get started. John 12, 20 through 29, the NRSV UE. And it reads, Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They said to Philip, who was from Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the, man, for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternity. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant, and there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said an angel has spoken to him. And our focus verse for today is Psalms 119, verse 105 of the NIV, which reads, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. And our thought for today is, I rejoice in God who has given me new life through, redemp through redemptive love. And our devotion today comes from India, and it reads as this. Beautiful Transformation A few months ago, I put a flowering potted plant in my garden. Unfortunately, scorching heat caused the plant to dry up. I had thought it had died. But to my surprise, a few days later, I noticed a new sign of life. Tiny green leaves began to appear, followed by little buds that blossomed into beautiful pink flowers. Even though the plant looked lifeless on the outside, there were still beautiful things within it. While telling his disciples about his death, Jesus said, Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. It is the same with us. When we let our sinful nature die, God's life-giving grace that can be redemptive work within us. As the light and love of God transforms us, our lives become beautiful, fragrant, and, fruit and fruitful. Dark thoughts disappear, and doubt can make us blind to God's love and grace. The scripture reminds us that God's love is always available. As we commune with God, we are strengthened and can bear much fruit. And when we die, 
to ourselves, we can see Christ glorified in and through us. And our prayer focus today is gardeners. I've shared this with you all um, many times before, but I have no green thumb. <laughs> None whatsoever. Whatever vegetation that is alive in my house is because God has decided that it needs to live. It has nothing to do with my own hands or my own doing. Um, I can keep my kids alive, but gardening, not so much. Um, but we all have life within us. And we all go through ebbs and flows, ups and downs. Um, we have down periods. We have up periods. We have periods where we're just kind of, you know, plateauing and everything. And that's fine. That's part of the rhythm of life. Um, but on those good days, my goodness, those good days are so good, aren't they? Um, just when things just seem to just be clicking and go right and everything, those are just truly days to just stop and pause and just thank the Lord Almighty. Uh, because we're not guaranteed those. You never know when they're going to appear. You never know when they're going to disappear. Um, so just taking those times, those moments to pause and just be thankful for the here and for the now and for the things that are going well and everything. Um, last week, I was just feeling a little discouraged, just feeling overwhelmed by life and everything. Um, but through whatever reasoning and everything this week, um, I don't feel as overwhelmed. Um, been in a pretty happy mood today. I don't know if it's the weather or what. Weather can affect moods, as we all know. Maybe it's because we're getting more daylight and everything. Um, but we have to tend to that happiness. It doesn't just come and everything. We have to work at it. We have to work for it. Um, just as gardeners work um, in their gardens to produce fruit, um, we all have to work on ourselves. Um, we have to choose the joy. We have to find the joy sometimes. It's not always easy. Um, but you always have to try and find just a little ounce, a little nugget of good somewhere in the midst of everything. Um, and it's not always easy. I know that, um, and everything. And there are some situations that are just hard and you might not be able to find it, but whenever you can try and find that good, that happy, that positive, um, that little nugget of silver lining, if you can, um, cause God is there with us. And when we tend to you know, the good parts and everything, um, it does, it irradiates good fruit. Um, when you're in a happy and good and positive mood, you kind of tend to want to do more and happy and positive things, and that has a ripple effect. Um, never underestimate the power of just positivity and just smiling and holding the door open for somebody or giving them a compliment. Um, for some people, that can just be what they need to help turn their day around. So as you go forth today, um, think of that way that maybe you can be that positive light inside somebody's life. Um, and sometimes people are resistant to it. It happens and everything, but sometimes you just kind of got to wiggle your way in. You just got to wiggle that positivity in wherever you can. So let us pray. Loving God, thank you for living word, for leaving words that transform us into new creations in Christ. Help us to surrender our lives so that we may bear much fruit to you. <coughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday. It really is beautiful outside. If you can just take a moment, maybe just crack open a window or just step outside for just a few minutes and everything, it really is a beautiful day outside today. Take that moment to just to be thankful for, you know, the fact that it's not snowing right now because <laughs> it is February and there is still a chance that we might still see some more snow. So I'm going to enjoy today while we got it. Um, and have a great rest of your Thursday. Thank you for joining me. Oh, hold on. Uh, thank you, Shirley, for joining us. And Susan, it's good to see you both as well. Thank you for joining us this morning. Well, hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday. Take such good care. Bye-bye.